Hello everybody, so it's the week before the annual Maths Jam gathering and I'm preparing my talk uh, and I'm going to attempt to break a record. So I'm going to attempt to break the record for the highest number of consecutive coin flips ever memorised by me. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, memorise thirty. the outcome of 30 coin flips uh, which is five more than I've ever done before. Uh, so I'm very excited about this. And by the time you watch this video, it will have happened. I will have memorized 30 coin flips. Um, and so this little video is just to let you know how I did that uh, and how you can do the same. Um, and if you're wondering what the annual Maths Jam gathering is, uh, I've put a link in the description below. Okay, so the first thing that happens in the trick is I give out a coin to each of 30 people uh, and they flip their coin and then one by one they read out what they got whilst I write up what they got on a flip chart uh, and I then turn my back to the flip chart once we're done uh, and I recite uh, the sequence of coin flips hopefully without too much hesitation uh, I get it right and everyone gets very excited and they give me a round of applause uh, and then maybe they start wondering has she got a photographic memory uh, and the answer to that is no uh, I am of course using some mathematics to help me okay so let's look at an example and so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm breaking down uh, the 30 coin flips into six groups of five. Uh, so here is one group of five. Uh, and then in my head, I'm turning a T into a one and I'm turning an H into a zero. Yeah, so I'm turning uh, that string of heads and tails into a binary number. Uh, and if I read this, I get, well, I get one lot of 16 plus one lot of eight plus one lot of four plus one lot of one. Uh, which gives me 29. Uh, and so I would be, in this example, remembering those first five coin flips as the base 10 number 29. Uh, and because base 10 is much more efficient than binary, this means I can take something uh, that's five digits long uh, and turn it into something that's much easier to remember. And I'm doing exactly the same thing uh, for all the other groups of five. They're being remembered as a base 10 number. Uh, and then in order to recite back to the audience what the sequence of coin flips is, I'm doing the opposite, right? So I'm one by one, I'm turning those base 10 numbers back into binary. And instead of saying one, I am saying tails. And instead of saying zero, I am saying heads. Uh, and so that's how it's done. Uh, and in this example that you can see, actually, I've only got 10 digits that I need to remember, um, which is quite a bit to remember, but actually it's the same as a phone number, but without the zero. So it's doable, but it does take uh, lots and lots of practice. And so I put a link to this website in the description below. I use this to help me. Um, so you can ask it to give you uh, kind of five random coin flips as I've just done. And then you can test yourself at how quickly uh, you can turn that set of five coin flips into a base 10 number. And you can use this technique to do another magic trick where you appear to have predicted the outcome of a series of coin flips. All you need to do is have all the possible outcomes stuck somewhere in the room. So let's imagine that you flip the coin five times uh, and you've got 32 chairs in the room, then all you've got to do is stick one outcome under each of the 32 chairs. And in your head, you need to number those chairs from zero to 31. So it helps if those chairs are in rows and columns. Um, and then uh, the coin gets flipped and you turn that sequence of coin flips into a base 10 number and you work out which of the chairs has got the correct outcome underneath it. Uh, you direct an audience member to that chair uh, and everyone will be amazed that you managed to predict uh, the outcome um, of the coin flips. Uh, and actually the best bit is just waiting to see how long it takes for somebody else to look underneath their chair. Thank you very much uh, for watching my video. Uh, this has been Binary Memory Tricks.